Is the best engine oil made in the United States or Japan? Let's find out as we move on to the next round of the Motor Oil Tournament with Itamitsu vs. STP. Itamitsu has blending facilities all around the world and that includes one here in the United States in Jeffersonville, Indiana. STP originated here in the United States. You can see in this picture we have a new addition to our test made of acrylic glass. Now, it's a resistance test. Why is this important? Viscosity refers to an oil's resistance to flow. So, this will help us better to determine just how good that oil can flow in cold or warmer temperatures. We're also going to test the oil's film strength to see just how much it can protect the metal parts within your engine at operating temperatures because the machine allows it to reach this by the friction that's created, not to mention the NOAC volatility test, which is also around operating temperatures of your vehicle. As you saw, we added a steel ball to each opening of the acrylic glass. Now we'll go ahead and add the motor oil and we'll be sure to label each one this way you guys know which is which. Now I'll do half STP and half Itamitsu. Both of these engine oils were chosen from your request. STP Sin Full Synthetic 10W30 and Itamitsu Racing 10W30. Well guys, make sure to let me know what other motor rules you'd like to see face off. Now, if you'd like to see a different viscosity in another tournament, hey, include that as well. We'll definitely do it. Now, as you can see, these screws that go on the top have an O-ring that helps to seal it off. This way there's no leaks, no problems at all. We also include an efficiency test. Even though MPG is only slightly changed, Every little bit does make a big difference. Now, as you can see on your far right hand side, the last two slots of oil are actually gonna be different amounts. This is for a different type of testing, just to see what the difference would be and if it would affect the testing at all. Now we'll place the oil in freezing temperatures, come back later and we'll test it out. Now we're ready to find out which one's going to come out on top in the friction test. Guys, if the cold pour test and resistance test are performed properly, they should come out the same as the winners. And as you can see, we're off to the races already. Who's going to take the lead in the tournament? The cold pour test is a very important victory. As I stated earlier, the FAR2 on the right, STP and IDE are two different volumes of oil. Now, this one's going to be a tight one, as I can already tell. It's going to come down to who wants it most. Can Japan come out swinging? Or is STP have the stronghold on this one, guys? It appears they're just about to edge off the victory. And they do it. STP actually pulls it off, guys. The resistance test winner. Unbelievable. Guys, that might as well have been a photo finish. Now, let's go ahead, flip it over. You guys can see it from a little bit different angle and see if the results change. One good thing about, I like about this test, it's a quick do-over. Well guys, if there's anything that you can add that you believe will help out this test to improve it, please do so. Let me know all about it. Hey, I love any constructive criticism you can give. We're all about helping each other out here in the NIA community. So if you see someone down here asking questions in the comment, please, hey, help them out. Now the cold pour test. As I stated, if we done it correctly, the results should be the same. Can STP do it again? Will they pull off the victory? It's a tight one in this one as well, guys. STP's just barely edging off the victory.
Japan Ida Mitsu make a comeback from this stronghold they have? Well, I'm not so sure, but I definitely have some high hopes. I've received a lot of great information on them. And that's why I included them in this testing. STP does it. Now, we're moving on to the NOAC volatility test. Very important for today's vehicles. Now we're going to go ahead, weigh our oil before placing it in the NOAC volatility testing machine, two pounds and 8.1 ounces before the test. That's right, a coffee pot. Well guys, believe it or not, look up the information for yourself. It's actually at around operating temperatures. Now there are a few temperatures in and around your engine that does get higher, but on average for the average operating temperature of the vehicle it's actually pretty accurate and look at the testing they do for perfect standards at high quality companies now after the test two pounds 7.6 ounces the stp lost 0.5 ounces or five tenths of an ounce after being on the coffee pot for two days and yes you probably wouldn't want to drink any coffee at my house now the Itamitsu starts off at two pounds and 8.1 ounces we'll come back in a couple days to see just how well this Itamitsu performs for the NOAC volatility test We're back and I'm curious to see after a couple of losses if Ida Mitsu can actually hold up to its high quality reputation. Two pounds, 8.0 ounces, 0.1 tenth of an ounce lost. Now guys, the STP lost 0.4 tenths of an ounce more. That's just unbelievable guys. What a difference. During the film strength test, you know we can also see the efficiency test, and the lower the number the better. Well, it would appear the STP has lost this one as well. In a moment, we'll give you the results for the film strength test. Now, with the efficiency test, that actually ties it up two to two. So whoever wins this one will actually take the lead in the competition. As you just saw, we calibrate our scale each time to make sure it's 100% accurate. 16.55 grams for the STP to start off before the wear test. Now for the Itamitsu, 16.49 grams starting off before our wear test. We start off calibrating the scale now the first bearing to be weighed is the STP bearing. Moment of truth guys. 16.46 grams. Now up, 
the Aramitsu bearing. Sixteen point four seven grams. Well, let's compare the results, guys, and find out just who came out on top. Itamitsu wins the efficiency test with a difference of 0.07 amps better. STP wins the flow resistance test, and STP wins the cold port test. Itamitsu wins the no volatility test with four tenths of an ounce difference. Also, the film strength test, Itamitsu wins with a difference of 0.07 grams. As you can see with the wear scars, STP just couldn't hold on to the victory. Now guys, thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.